mostly enemies. Today, guys, we are starting a new series, a new series of quick, short videos where I give brief rundowns of issues I'm finding in books, how to avoid them in your own writing, and how to find them when we see them. So the one we're talking about today is knowing your audience. In true form to the name of the series, the thing you do not want to do is write without knowing your audience. Don't do that. Knowing your audience is critical to writing well. If you don't know who you're writing to, you're not going to know what to say. It's like speaking. You don't speak Chinese to someone who only speaks German. You don't speak French to someone who only speaks one of the Hindu languages. You just don't do it if you want to communicate. So with that in mind, I'm going to give you five step-by-step -step rules that will allow you to write to your audience more effectively and communicate effectively. Let's go. The first, and arguably the most important, because everything is downstream of this, know your audience. If you don't know who you're writing to, that's the first thing you need to figure out. And honestly, if you don't know who you're writing to, you might have some deeper issues like, do you really know what your book is about? Do you really know what your story is about? You should know these things off the top of your head. They should be intrinsically tied to what your story is at its core. You don't write a fairy tale about magical dragons that swoop down and save children and then write it like it's for adults. By the same token, you don't write a horror show of blood and gore and people getting maimed and abused and this dystopian, you know, cluster F and then write it in language that's aimed towards kids. You have to know who you're writing to. Figure that out first. Second, learn your audience's psychology, social norms, and culture. You've got to study your audience. If you're not part of that audience already, if you don't naturally have an intrinsic understanding of the audience you're writing to, you're going to have to do your homework, whether it's YouTube videos, absorbing media from that culture or audience demographic, whether it's reading books, articles online, going out and talking to people, God forbid, right? You have to learn who your audience is and you have to learn about them. And just talking to one or two people isn't going to cut it. Just watching two or three movies or reading a couple magazines isn't going to cut it. This is going to take some serious research if you're trying to write to an audience that you're not part of and that you haven't had a lot of exposure to. And if you half-ass it, people are going to know like that. Number three. Learn to speak to them in a relatable and accessible way. This ties directly into two, that's why one after the other. The great thing about Shakespeare and why he's remembered as being this great author of poems and plays and all this other stuff, even though he's kind of boring and pretentious by a lot of today's standards, the reason he's survived the test of time is because in his day, he was considered a man of the people, someone who wrote to the people. A lot of other playwrights and famous writers in those days only wrote for the nobility, because that was the main audience of a lot of artists. But Shakespeare wanted his stuff to be accessible to everyone. So in his day, his language that he wrote in was accessible to, if you could read, you could understand it. And if you could speak the language, you could understand it. That's why he was so well loved. And I'd argue the same thing could be said about all the greatest authors through history. Robert Frost, Mary Shelley, Stephen King. They write in the dialect of their time. They know how to speak to their audience. They know how to communicate effectively. Number four, bring your audience something of value, preferably something they can't get anywhere else. If you can't figure out what you can give them of value, that goes all the way back to, well then, what is your story really about? If your story isn't something of value, 
you obviously need to work on your story quite a bit. And if they can get your story anywhere else, then you need to work on your story quite a bit. Usually the thing that you can reliably offer that they can't get anywhere else is your voice, your perspective, your way of looking at things. And if you feel like your voice and your perspective isn't unique and it's just parroting someone else, then maybe you need to find your own voice. Maybe you need to do some introspection and really decide who you want to present as and how you want the world to see you. And yeah, I know that sounds a lot like work, but no one ever said writing was going to be easy, so pucker up, buttercup. And five, tying directly into four. Be authentic. Be authentic. People can smell a fake from a mile away, and that's not an exaggeration. When you walk into a room and you try to relate to everyone in the room, everyone instantly hates you. It's no secret that that's how people think because we can smell duplicity, we can smell a snake in the grass, it's in our DNA, it's a survival skill. If you try to be the guy everyone likes, you're going to fall short every time. Be yourself, don't be afraid to stand up for what you believe in, express your opinions, and if you can't relate to someone, admit you can't relate to them. You'll make it a lot farther with people admitting that you can't see things from their point of view and then trying to have a conversation than trying to fake that you know what they're talking about or that you actually see things the same way as they do. Be authentic. Trust me. So guys, like I said, this is going to be the first in a new series of short videos where we just do boom 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 writing advice. Uh, this is all inspired by stuff that I'm finding in books that, frankly, I, I should not see in anything that's being published. This is stuff that should be worked out in the drafting process, in the editing process, but uh, it made it into the book, so we got to talk about it. Until next time, guys, be safe, be well, all that good stuff, and I'll see you later. Also, just a quick by the by, if you want to follow my book reviews and get all the tea, links down in the description.